weeks back, we went to our favorite Yakiniku restaurant and I just happened to have the Panasonic Lumix S5 in my hands. It had the Lumix S 85mm f1.8 lens which I have used in some of the portrait testing in the previous videos. I just thought it would be a good time to test the capabilities of the focusing system on both the camera and the lens on less favorable lighting conditions. While my wife was driving, I took some videos on the road and immediately there are some difficulties in focusing that I noticed at these high contrast conditions. However, when it nailed the focus, the video looked great. I set the camera into auto ISO so that it would compensate in the changes of the lighting conditions. I also shot in vlog profile at 4K 10 bit 420 and I color graded the videos in Final Cut Pro and I think it was easier to bring out the colors. The room we shot the videos was a little small, a big challenge for the 85mm which I set at f1.8 all throughout. The shutter speed was based around 1 60th of a second. The room is not well lit, so if you are familiar with the Panasonic system, it buckles in low lighting conditions. But as you can see here, it is looking great. Let us compare the ungraded and the graded version of the video. Of course, the original is lifeless and pale. After a few tweaks on the color wheel, the video comes to this, and I think it is really good. I would not pretend that I am an expert in color grading or the technical aspects of videography. I just try to research the basics and try it myself. To this time, I still am considering myself as a beginner in this field of videography. I would do more of these shots in the future if time and chances permit up. It would be great if I'm able to utilize this camera in the in the application that I intended it to you to be used, which is shooting documentaries. Initially, my tests of the Panasonic Lumix S5 with the 85mm f1.8 seem to be great in terms of what I want it to be. One thing though. It really had difficulties in its focusing in a very dark environment. So creating dramatic silhouettes posed a load of challenges. But who knows? I might just be learning this machine and perhaps there are ways to get around these challenges and I haven't yet discovered. So again, thank you for watching. I hope to see you again on the next video. Goodbye.